we're renovating a house. It's going well. Place is a bit of a mess. There's one place though that there's a bit more of a mess. There's only one plug at the ground level that is currently hooked up and we need to charge those batteries. We also would like to have them off the floor. So there's some room on the wall there. Let's see what we can come up with. Using some 7-8 recycled MDF that I got for free. Cutting them down to size. The edges are very rough and a little bit damaged. There were some metal clips. So we're also going to be removing the edges. This is one of the things when you work with recycled material, you're going to have a little bit of waste. This one also had some damage and a little bit of water damage as well. Setting up a little work surface so we can assemble this. Not the straightest, most level table ever, but it'll be functional. I don't have a lot of experience with Craig Jig. I find them uh, to be a very nice tool. You may see a couple of mistakes here. Basically, I want to have the two boards to have uh, to be jointed at 90 degrees. So this is going to make my life a little bit easier. I have to say it makes very nice holes. So the holes are completely done. Now we're going to start to assemble. Here's where having a clamp would have been very useful. Unfortunately, I did not have them on site. I'm going to also cut down some smaller pieces so I can put them on the side to help stabilize the top shelf. And also use uh, some uh, pocket holes to keep it all together. One done, one to go. And there we go. Here's one little problem. It turns out that the board is slightly too long. So I'm going to make sure that uh, we got this measured just right. Properly mark it. And since I want them both the exact same size, We'll use the already set square to mark the line on the other board as well. And cut it up at the table saw. Assemble it with the Craig screws. This thing is starting to take shape. Obviously the side is very wobbly. That was giving me a bit of concern. I didn't want to just keep putting Craig screws into this thing. So we'll attack that problem in a second using a slightly different technique. Marking some holes at the center of the board that's underneath on both sides. I'm 
I'm going to use this little tool here that'll drill the hole and uh, give me a little bit of a recess so that the head of the screw can be under the surface. and put the screws in. Now comes the time to actually put it up on the wall. So I'm marking a line where I'm going to drill the holes to put the screws, the mounting screws. We're going to put four holes. So I could have gone without measuring here and simply wing it, but I like to have some symmetry. So and there we go. Once the holes are done, it gives me a little space to actually flush mount the screws. And up it goes. So this thing is a little bit heavy. It's a bit awkward to put it up on the wall. And I wanted it to be relatively level, so I'll just set the first screw on, use a level, make sure we're as straight as possible. And once we are, drive the second screw in, and now it's completely solid. Starting to mark the insides for the mounting screws for all the chargers. This is a bit of precision work and I didn't have a piece of paper to actually transfer the holes to use as a template. So I had to measure all the holes and make sure that everything was planned properly. Obviously if one of the screws is off, it's simply not going to fit. And away we go. This was all in my head. I didn't work from a plan, so I wanted to uh, start mounting them as I go so that I could plan the next piece. So once my first two screws are in, we'll see if one of the chargers fit. And there we go. Moving on to the next one. So here was my second mess up of the day. Here I just realized that this battery needs to slide up and now it's mounted under a board. So that unfortunately is absolutely no good. So this has to be repositioned. The other charger 
did fit properly. So we're just going to reposition those screws somewhere else. And here is a much better fit. Battery slides in and out. Problem solved. Use the larger gap on top there to actually mount the power bar. Now here, the third problem is that I actually measured both holes from the top and I didn't do my math right. So the first hole is perfectly positioned, but the second hole is a little bit too high. So once I put those screws in, and I'm going to do my test fit, It unfortunately is not going to work out. This is me just not believing reality and thinking that it should fit anyways, but now I just realized my hole's at the wrong place. So I'm going to reposition the screw. Now I'm correctly measuring from the other screw hole, so I'll be at the right place. And voila, all the chargers are on. And I even have room to uh, plug in my antique drill. Do a little bit of cable management. Make sure those wires are out of the way. This is going to stay here for at least a few weeks. So it's not a permanent installation. It's easy to remove. And the wires are going to be out of the way, which was a point of frustration with me. A couple of tie wraps will definitely solve that problem. Once that's done, cut off the excess. We have a nice installation. Wedge that wire in there. Come on, get in there. There we go. It almost looks professional. Plug it in and we're good to go. Batteries go in. Excellent. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.